So I have a testimonial for WITS uh, regarding three things. One is the, the power of the authority that the Father gives us. The second thing is the red LED light that the ministry is offering. And the third thing is healing. <clears throat> so first thing is the chemtrails with the airplanes. Um, for, for many weeks, um, I'd, I'd seen various brothers online um, on the Wednesday night broadcast talking about this. And I decided to start uh, Timothy, Brother Timothy Thrapp uh, mentioned that all we have to do is take authority and, and it will be ours. And, and I started doing so. First few weeks, I, I saw nothing. Uh, but I trusted. But I trusted that what I was asking was happening. And uh, just uh, about a week and a half ago, the, I tried the same thing. Only this time, I, I stayed focused on it. On one of the airplanes that had just started up its chemtrail, I would say 15 uh, playing lengths back, and it sputtered and stopped. And then it started again, and it sputtered and stopped, and it didn't start back up. And the remaining, uh, the remaining amount of white dust actually dissipated, I'd say, about a hundred times faster than it normally does, and it usually hangs. In, in the atmosphere for a while before it dissipates, but in this case, it just dissipated completely. What I hear, and here's what I asked for: uh, I asked the Father to convert those that chemtrail into non-dangerous chemicals um, that are going to be inert when they touch the ground, and I also asked for the motors that are spitting out just that chemtrail to stop working, and and it happened. It was it was amazing. Um, the first time I saw it, second and third and fourth time I saw it, it, it was it was like a breath of fresh air. And I'll tell you, I haven't seen any any chemtrails in the last four or five days, and uh, it's great. I'm hoping they uh, I'm hoping they have a lot of repairs to make, and that they're going to give up and stop to, stop poisoning us with whatever chemicals are spraying into the atmosphere. And the other thing is a red LED light. I um, have a bump on my back. Um, went to the doctor, told me it was a cyst that essentially just fills up with sweat. It's like a big sweat gland. And when I sweat more, it gets smaller. And when I don't sweat, it gets bigger. So I figured I'd give it a go. And um, right now, feeling it, it's about the size of a quarter. It did start about, oh, I'd say the better part of my palm here. And... Uh, uh, it was pretty wide. Now it's uh, now, now the, the ball is pretty much concentrated. The other thing is I'm using it on my face and my my skin feels healthier, feels stronger. I I shaved the other day without any blood or irritation like I usually get, which which is odd, but it's doing something. Um, and the last thing is regarding healing. Um, I was at Supercuts one day getting a haircut and there was a young boy who was about three. He had just broken the top of his foot. He had a cast on his on his leg, and I asked his parents, and they told me the whole story. And I asked him, "Is, is it okay if I pray for him?" Because uh, he didn't even want to stand or sit because his leg was hurting. So um, just before that, he was sitting on the ground with his uh, leg straight out, and he reached up for his mom to pick him up because he couldn't walk on it. And uh, she carried him around when she came back. Uh, that's when I approached them, and uh, they said, yeah, absolutely. So I asked the father to um, to heal his leg in the name of his son, Yeshua, just like I asked for uh, the chemtrails to go away. And the father heard. All I did was just touch his leg, and the Holy Spirit worked through me into him. And that little boy stood up on his foot and started running around. He had no more pain. Uh, he started jumping onto the seat where his dad was sitting, and everybody was just sitting awestruck, including me, because I had never seen something so radical happen so immediately. So I, I just want to give that testimonial. Brother Timothy uh, is right on. Uh, 
all you have to do is put it into practice and and you have to trust trust that the word of God is truth that's all it is it's truth and if you trust it it'll always guide you correctly so so long till next time God bless